Hello everybody. Right, this is the um, this is a place rig for boat fishing, and this is a um, for use with a um, a Delta sonar 25 gram. Okay, so I've pre-tied this rig, and um, this is primarily used off a boat drifting for species like place. Okay, so I'll just I'll just grab the camera. And I'll just show you. I've just pre-tied it. Um, so this is basically it, um, and it's based on. Um, it's based around um, obviously this um, spinner here, this um, metal spoon, as an attractor, as an a fish, a fish attractor, um, to get the fish in the mood. Um, as you can see, it's got some little gaps in it. Um, it's got some shiny stuff on it, I've got an eye, and so you can see how flashy and effective that would be fluttering along the sand, looking for, looking for place. And then you want about um, short, sort of foot length, snood, 20 pound fluorocarbon for do for that, or amnesia, something like that. And then you want an assortment of beads. Now, particularly good for place are these green, black, white beads and you can you know spice it up with a little red on the end. Now all you do that's a size one or one oak Asamian. I mean some some place overseas is actually quite big so that's quite a robust hook. That's an uptight extra that isn't that's not a cox of all uptight extra. And you want to bake that depending on where you are. If you're off Devon fishing for place you probably want to put um, buy some ragworm and all you do you just slide the ragworm up the hook up here, and then the beads will, will come down to the come come down to the ragworm. You see. Um, so if you're overseas, you might just want to bait that with a bit of fish, something like that, a bit of coley fillet, or a bit of mackerel, or, or something like that. And you've got to have a swivel connected onto your link there. You must must have a, 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 a swivel. Um, and the reason we have a swivel is so it rotates, so it'll spin round, so it doesn't tangle, doesn't twist up the line. Sorry. And we can, I just forgot to tidy up that bit of line there. Same on the other side, swivel again, and you want about, <coughs> this is just pretty much um, a bit of line, a bit of a trace line really. That's just um, um, in case there's a bit of rough ground, you're banging into a bit of rough ground, the old boulder or two, and you don't want, you've got some lighter main line, you don't want that to take the full brunt of anything you see. So this might be want to be 30 pound, same again, 20 pound would be fine. And um, again, to a swivel, so it doesn't, so it doesn't twist, and stays nice and supple. And and and, and, and all you do, you just you just drift that along the um, <coughs> along the on the, the sandbank, or wherever or wherever you're fishing, wherever the place grounds are. And um, this is a rig actually used in Norway. That's used in Norway quite a bit. And um, you get big place there. You get place to like five pound or so. And there's a different selection of beads you can use to sort of uh, produce it. Um, there's amnesia there, that's quite cheap and that's good quality stuff. Use it for all your snoods and traces and stuff. <coughs> and obviously Kasamian. Um, these hooks are a little bit small, but they're, they're you know, a similar sort of fine wire sort of mould. Have some swivels there. And um, so yeah, so that's basically it. That's the. The Delta Sonar 25 gram spoon place rig. Very effective. And like you say, if you're in the UK, you want to put ragworm on there. Or lugworm, if you've got some lugworm. But you want some king rag. That'd be that would be my go-to. Here you go guys, this is it. This is the Delta Spoon, Delta Sonar 25 gram. Made in England, spoon. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Size 1, 1-0, one uptight extra, nice and strong, got some beads, 20 pound uh, leader, about a foot long, amnesia would do for that, swivels, <coughs> and um, slightly heavier sort of trace line for a bit of rough bottom, if it bangs into a bit of rough bottom, and again to your Swivel and then your main line from here. You probably want to use minimum 20 pound braid, depending on where you are. 
No, too much. And there you go, boat fishing. So, there you go, there you go. Let's get some of them tasty old place, eh? And um, yeah, so that sort of concludes the video, really. If you've got any questions, just click, click us a message. Um, <clears throat> there's one or two other place rigs you can use. I might, I might draw them into the video as well, but this is a slightly, this is the one I've used and caught a few place. Um, areas you can go in the UK, there's a, there's a bank called the Scaries Bank off Dartmouth. There's fishing boats will take you out there for the day. It's not too expensive trip, it's inshore, and they always, certain times of the year, can be awesome for a good place. Um, you might even pick up the odd turbot or brill or something like that. Um, other places you could use, you could use this rig off um, fishing for turbot and brill, you know, with, and just um, put on there a bit of mackerel, mackerel strip or sand eel or something and still have this. But um, I have that rig, I've got another rig for that actually on my, on my, on my line, on my, on, my, um, on, on my channel. Yeah, so this is by Delta. Delta do some other bits and pieces as well. They do um, like these rubber eels, or you can use, you can fish with a flying collar rig over, over wrecks for um, cod, pollock and cool fish and things like that. And um, we used to use black Delta eels for catching pollock over over wrecks. You use it off Plymouth, Plymouth and Devon. Um, so yeah, it's quite good, quite a good company. Um, but yeah, this spoon is very effective for the place. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I give you sort of a few tips and ideas if, you, if you're going specialising in place fishing. And um, there you go, hope you enjoyed the video, more along the way. See you later.